Luton Town season often starts around about now. They fought their way out of some tight relegation corners in the past. They went behind to Crystal Palace on Tuesday night. Mark Bright is sporting the ball over the line. Just over 12,000 at Selhurst Park to see Luton salvage a second-half draw. Brian Steen heading nowhere in particular and helped on his way by Eric Young. Penalty awarded and Luton's fourth away point of the season claimed by Mark Pembridge. Notts County, without a league win this year, had a halfway lead over Wimbledon. Craig Short at close quarters. So close, the Dons defenders were looking for a flag. But their luck changed with a 74th-minute penalty. Substitute Andy Clark making the initial inroads. And Neil Ardley bundled over by Andy Williams getting the benefit of the doubt. It was a rather clumsy sort of a challenge. Definite contact, but not a lot. Captain John Fashnu's military two-step did the trick. United went to goal down midway through the second half following a complete misunderstanding between Mal Donaghy and standing goalkeeper Gary Walsh. Mal, you've been framed. It was all too easy, really. The most extraordinary thing is that Donaghy was facing the right way. The fact he was looking for Walsh and didn't see him will remain one of the season's mysteries. United, though, salvaged the point with three minutes remaining. The most encouraging aspect on an uninspiring night. Confirmation that Mark Hughes has lost his inhibitions in front of goal. Three and two games for the appropriately named Sparky. There must have been something in the air on Wednesday night because whatever it was that got into Mal Donaghy at Old Trafford also afflicted Leicester City's Paul Reid at the City ground. Reid and goalkeeper Kevin Poole getting into a tangle. Gary Crosby, not for the first time in his career, profiting by sneaking up on opponents unawares. That gave Forrest the aggregate lead in what was their fifth cup match of a congested February schedule. By the time the weekend's through, they could have secured two trips to Wembley. By the time the season's through, it could be three. They're definitely going in the ZDS Cup. Darren Wassell made sure of that by getting forward from fullback to finish a classic Forest counter-attack. Now they head to Tottenham on Sunday, seeking to secure a place in the Rumbelows Cup final. <laughs> 